video. For, did you say 45? Yeah. Oh, president number 45. Yeah! Okay. Man, keep up! I told you what we were talking about! Yeah, but you said 45 <laughs> and it, I was like, what is 45? President 45. Okay. Now that we're on the same page, hopefully the same book. This video um, is kind of talking about uh, Dirt Road Men and like who we are and what it's about. Trying to get you to say it. Way of art is better than any of our guys. Remington Arms. Five chapter 11 bankruptcy. Follow the link for me. Nine or ten for me. Yeah. Nine or ten. Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. We are the Dirt Road Men. Here for our uh, current events video as of St. Patty's Day week. We haven't we haven't shot a current events video for a while. Yeah. Uh, so big topic we thought we'd bring up this week is talk about how 45 is doing. Um, because there's some stuff we brought up in a, in a previous talk video that's now come to fruition in a, a manner that I think we somewhat expected it to. We talked about. Uh, Rocket Man in, you said, in a talk video. For, did you say 45? Yeah. Oh, President number 45. Yeah! Okay. Man, keep up! I told you what we were talking about! Yeah, but you said 45 <laughs> and I was like, what is 45? President 45. Okay. But now that we're on the same page, hopefully the same book. Hopefully. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, we're going to talk about President Trump and kind of how he's been doing in North Korea. There is something bad, and, and we don't, we tend to only talk about the good, so I thought we'd bring up the bad at least. To show that we're not all in on DJT. Man, I am smoking us out. <laughs> smoking up the room. We shot, a, a, we shot our uh, St. Patty's Day video right before this, which is why we do not have whiskey. No, the um, end was very much unpleasant. Let's just say, uh, check us out on St. Patty's Day. Boy, do we have a video for you. <laughs> the things we do for you guys. It's terrible. It, <laughs> it ended badly. <laughs> <laughs> Expecting to be so, it, at least on par with Whiskey Thanksgiving, but worse for us. So, yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, I don't want to give too much away. Uh, so, the bad that I thought we should bring up on, on Donald Trump was his statement on guns a little bit back. Remember that after the Parkland shooting, the Florida shooting? I don't, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to uh, politics or anything. <laughs> I, I didn't hear about the shooting for like two days after it happened. Okay. Well, after the shooting, Mike Pence was <coughs> talking about like you know reform in, in the realm of guns. And he was talking about being able to take guns away from people being mentally ill. Now, I think that's uh, like something you've got to define better, right? Yeah. Because like, does mentally ill count as a kid that has to take like Ritalin? I don't know. Because, you know, John was on ADHD meds when he was younger. Does yeah. that mean he should lose his Second Amendment right? No. And, and then there, you also have the danger of people being afraid to get treated because they might lose their Second Amendment right. Now that said, we may start noticing a decline in people saying they are mentally ill. Huh. I just Here's the problem. All that is what Mike Pence said. And Trump interrupted him and said, how about, instead of taking away their guns when they're declared mentally unfit, we take the guns away first, and then we let them go through due process to see if they can have them back. Kind of goes against the whole innocent till proven guilty thing. That's like the opposite of that. Yes, that was pretty freaking dumb. Um, I'm assuming he said that out of emotion because, in spite of the fact that I like him policy-wise on a lot of things, I think I think he didn't think that through. As you could tell, Pence seemed pretty surprised when Trump interrupted him to say that. Yeah. So. 
And he hasn't done any action on that, and hopefully he won't. But I thought we should bring up the bat, because as, I mean, as we've said before, Trump would be neither of our first choices. No. Just of what we were given. <laughs> uh, and Kansas actually voted for Cruz, who has a much higher IQ and is a constitutional Republican, and anyway. anyway. So North Korea now, after Trump's hardline strategy that everybody was so upset that he was just provoking North Korea, he's provoking North Korea, they're gonna bomb South Korea, it's gonna be bad, something bad's gonna happen. When even China was like, if they bomb South Korea, we don't care what you guys do. <laughs> like, China was like, if you attack them first, we're coming after you. But if they attack somebody else first, we're not going to protect them. Pretty much I knew then, Korea wasn't going to do anything. Yeah. Although apparently they tried and bombed their own people. Whatever, man. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> so they've agreed to test no more nuclear weapons while they are in talks with the U.S. They have said they want to be in talks with the U.S. And what they are talking about is coming to an agreement on disabling their nuclear option, on getting rid of their nuclear programs. Which would be pretty cool. I, I think that would be a giant win considering how long North Korea has been a problem. Yeah, for, yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can go way back, but even in like the 90s and stuff, we had to start placating them for this nuclear BS. And we've, we've kind of been soft-handed with them about it. And Trump and Mattis were not soft-handed with them about it at all. Remember when I told you about Mattis walking out into the demilitarized zone out there? Yeah, yeah. Just, I remember the kahunas on that man. That, that was that's, just them That's my mostly the heterosexual man crush right there is, is James Mattis. That, that was uh, uh, them jingling his chain. Oh, look. We can <laughs> unleash it. Yeah. We can let it go. <laughs> we can let this man loose. Well, and he even said when he walked out there, he's like, yeah, I'm going out there. Let them shoot me and watch what happens. <laughs> <laughs> you, you imagine the, uh, the, the news report a few hours later? <laughs> We don't know what happened to North Korea. It just disappeared. <laughs> Somebody shot at James Mattis and all of a sudden, there's just Korea. <laughs> uh, so I think this is a giant win. I think this is one of the biggest wins of Trump's presidency so far. Yeah, easily. Like this, well, tax reform, I think, comes close. The tax bill that he passed, I think, comes close. I think that's very, uh, that's a lot of putting your money where your mouth is. Yeah. So, but you know, you, you weigh him, you know, we've been doing the same kind of tax thing for a few years as opposed to how long Korea's been a yeah, that's true. proposed threat. That is true. Fair enough. So yeah, I call this the biggest one of his career so far then. Talking through it that way. I mean, I guess it's not done, right? They could go back home and be like, ah, ah just kidding! Bomb! But... God, that would be so dumb. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure if that was like a... Uh... Oh, the accent? Yeah. Like I a... wasn't trying to nail an accent. Okay. Just... Okay. It was like a... Spanish. It was like a, a Ahmed the Dead Terrorist meets Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... It was just a random accent. That we've now spent too much time on. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I think I think the whole North Korea deciding that they want to talk with Trump is... is a hilariously good show of the fact that... Really, somebody just needed to be the stern parent with North Korea and tell them they better stop screwing up or Daddy's gonna whip them with the belt. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wonderful analogy. Yeah, I mean, I think that's basically how that works. Yeah. So, um, that said, I think that, that kind of uh, wraps us up for today, unless you had any other cool current event topics we should touch on. I, I don't. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> You're not well looped in. Nope. Uh, yeah, 
Uh, we switched our whiskey videos to Wednesdays because whiskey Wednesdays. So current events Monday, whiskey Wednesdays. Uh, we'll have a cigar at the end of the week on Fridays. And uh, this week we will have a special St. Patrick's Day celebration video on St. Patrick's Day. Um, that way you can you can have a drink with us that evening. Uh, Def Set participates in a fun uh, Dirt Road Men style drinking game. Fun. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It was cool till the end there. Yeah, it was great till the very end. My cigar went out. All right, but I think that's it from us this week. Uh, well, this video. So until we see you again, I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. And we are the Dirt Road Men. Bye.